All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to use Steam Workshop mods for games that support the workshop. And I suppose the easiest thing to start this tutorial with is, Larry, how do I even know if the game that I'm playing supports the Steam Workshop? Like, do I have to go and click each individual game and look around on the game page to see if there is a button to the community hub or to the workshop? And the simple answer is no, there's actually a filter. If you go up here to the top where you would normally search your game by name, you can click on this and there's actually a toggle where you can search whichever games that you have in your library that have a Steam Workshop enabled. So it's actually relatively easy to figure out which ones do. And then if it's one that you want to play right now, you can click, click, quickly click, install it, and go from there. Uh, for the sake of this particular tutorial, I already know that Killing Floor 2 has a pretty decent Steam Workshop full of mods, so we're just going to go there. Um, so there's a couple ways that you can access the Steam Workshop, depending on which buttons the developers have enabled on their like game page in your library. So when I click on Killing Floor, there's a button for the Community Hub, and there's also a button for the Workshop. If it does show up as having workshop support, but doesn't have a workshop button, all you gotta do is go to the community hub where there's everything from guides to people's artworks to weird videos and memes that they post and share in the community. And then you can go up to the top here and there should be a workshop tab. And this is where you go to find all of the different mods. From here, you can kind of get like a little look at like what's really popular. For like mods, they've got like an old Silent Hill map that you can play in, or the new Reflex site, Zelda, Killing Floor Zelda at Night, which I believe is a map. You've got things like, one of these, uh, the B BFG 9000 Recharged is a mod for the BFG gun from Doom. So if you want any of these, you can just go look at which ones are interesting. Like, uh, this is the one for Spongebob. This particular map is a Spongebob map. And all you have to do is click on this button here to subscribe to it, and your game will automatically download updates for it inside of your download queue at the bottom of the page. So that's the kind of nice thing is Steam handles all of the updates and downloads them automatically when they become available. So you don't actually have to mess with these while you're playing your game. There's nothing to sort, there's nothing to change yourself. You just go through here and you find the ones that look interesting, you click the subscribe button, it'll automatically download in the background and everything is super happy hunky-dory. And a lot of these different mods too are pretty small, so they download relatively fast here. Like this one's just 133 megabytes. So it's really easy just to go through here, find the ones that you like, and install them. Now, depending on the game, a lot of these won't be like full featured changing like the game in a really deep substantive way. Mods like this BFG gun. Uh, and it looks like if some of these actually require multiple mods, they'll actually run you through what the secondary required mods are. And you can just subscribe to one or you can subscribe to all, depending on what you want or need. So yeah, I think that's kind of neat. Check it out for yourselves if you've got a game inside of your Steam library that you want to mod yourself. And then once you've subscribed to a number of different items and you've also got your friends subscribed to them too, because everyone needs a, a, the same mods if you want to play in a custom game with different stuff going on, have everyone download it, then click play, and you can go nuts. And all of it's based inside of Steam's Workshop. Super easy. So anyway, that's uh, it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. This has been a brief look at how Steam Workshop mods work. They're really not complicated. They're literally just click a button, subscribe, and you're done. So bye, everybody, and have a good one.